Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Intel Arc Control Sensor and also the overlay to help diagnose problems with your GPU should you be experiencing problems. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Intel Arc Control Sensor and also the Intel Arc Overlay which can be really useful for diagnosing PC problems or just doing simple things like keeping an eye on your FPS and or your power usage for the Intel Arc graphics cards. Now currently at the time of recording, this supports the A380, the A750 and also the A770 graphics cards if you're on the discrete market, so a purchased graphics card such as this one, but also you can use it in conjunction with the Intel integrated graphics on processors from 11th gen upwards. So without further ado, let's get back to the computer and see what it's all about. Okay, so this is our Windows desktop, as you can see, and we've got the Intel Arc A770 installed. And also, confusingly, we've also got the UHD 770 installed as well as our integrated graphics on this Intel processor. Now, in order to get the Intel overlay, it's actually quite simple. If you install the latest Intel drivers, which uh, we'll try and put some links for those in the video description, doesn't matter if it's the Windows Hardware Qualifying Labs or the beta ones, both of them will come with the control center. Now in order to access the control center and also the overlay, there are two hotkeys, now one of which is the Alt key and O, which brings up the overlay, obviously O for overlay, and also you've got Alt and I for the Intel Arc control center. So looking at the control center, got options here. Mostly you're gonna be looking in performance, so this gives you your live performance monitoring here, and you can configure this to show whatever you want in there. So if there's certain things you don't necessarily need to know, then you can actually remove those or narrow it down, select all, etc., etc. So that's uh, pretty straightforward and simple. The in-game overlay, which is this section over on the right-hand side, if this isn't available, just make sure you've got in-game overlay enabled. So when you fire up a game, it will be available should you do the hotkeys. If you actually want to make changes to the in-game overlay, or basically the Intel Performance Telemetry, which is here, then you can click on the settings cog. And then again, you can go in and choose your various preferences, what you want to see actually available in there. So if there's something that you don't particularly want, then you can remove it. Also for preferences, so you can choose your overlay position. So the default is here which is in the top right, you can choose top left, over this side, bottom left, and bottom right. Also you've got options for transparency, although it says from zero to 100, but I don't think it actually does change a great deal, or at least it doesn't appear to. Uh, let me know what you think on that one, and actually I'll just close that down, so Alt and I, get that back up. And yes, you've also got the option to show the currently selected adapter. Now for some people, if you're using certain devices, it may actually be preferable because if you've got two, so like here, we've got the Intel UHD Graphics 770. So there, it's gonna tell you which GPU is actually showing the statistics for. So that actually could be quite handy as well. If you're wondering why your system's really slow, it's because you're potentially using the wrong graphics card. Anyway, that is the information there. This is gonna be really useful, so things like CPU activity, memory utilization, all these kinds of things are very handy to know. GPU memory used, again, if you're having issues with your system being laggy, or you're getting frame spikes, that sort of thing, just check your GPU memory used, and if this figure here is more, or almost exactly the same as what your graphics card has, in this instance, we've got eight gigabytes, so if this says eight gigabytes or more, and you're wondering why your game's lagging, it's because you're running out of VRAM. So that is something to certainly consider. And also your utilization, GPU clocks, etc. GPU temperature is also gonna be a handy one. Currently we're just idling here in Windows and we're at a relatively chilly 41 degrees Celsius. Obviously if you're just on your Windows desktop and your GPU temperature is significantly higher than this, then potentially you've got issues with cooling, which again could affect GPU performance and therefore create lag and stutter. You also got your GPU core power. So this is how much the GPU is actually pulling. So at the moment it's actually relatively high against Intel or AMD graphics, but that's something hopefully they will address later on. And also things like VRAM clocks, VRAM temperature. 
VRAM temperature, another one to keep an eye on. If this gets particularly hot whilst gaming, you may see throttling occur, which again is going to turn into lag and frame rate spiking up and down. Again, this is basically just an overlay just to show you what is going on. In order to fully diagnose it, there's other things you can use, but I would suggest if you are having issues, using this as a primary tool to get information on your graphics adapter is really useful. And if you've come to this video from our Discord and we've kind of pushed you in this direction to try and get some stats, these are the uh, bits of information we're gonna be asking you about in order to diagnose your problem. So there we go, hopefully this video is gonna be useful to you to uh, help either you or help us diagnose your GPU problems with your Intel Arc graphics cards. So don't forget the hotkeys that you're gonna be wanna be using is gonna be Alt and O to bring up the overlay and Alt and I to bring up the control center. And again, don't forget to toggle that little switch on the bottom there to allow it to actually show the game overlay. So I think that's gonna wrap things up. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If I have, smash the like button. Don't forget if you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, hit the subscribe button and the chime icon and you'll see content like this in your inbox daily. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.